and what do you make of well, whatever I think, I chapters mean, been in the last I, couple of years? I have, in my perfect world, I wanted to win because I'm pretty much happy-go-lucky on my Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I need to choose my words cautiously now. <laughs> there have been few, if any, if you research, that have done what Caitlin Clark's done, that have managed the critiquing. And she's, she's asked for a lot. She is a lot, and she'll chirp with the refs and so forth. But that kid has done nothing but carry a flag. She's done nothing but put her head down and compete. And uh, I think it's nonsensical that you're not going to call her a GOAT because she couldn't lead a team uh, to the ultimate title. Um, it was nice of Dawn to say that. Um, um, uh, I just think, you know... Caitlin's never asked for any, you know, she doesn't, she didn't, the social media doesn't bother. It doesn't bother myself either, but, um, you know, I, I stayed in my lane, but I have a teenager that keeps me updated. But um, I just think you can't, like, there's different, there's just different GOAT levels. And that kid has won every award, except I don't think she won Staley's award this year. Um, but I feel like she's won all the rest of them the last couple of years. Um, and she's taken the, the records and she's really delivered about every game. And I don't know what player, I'd have to research in the history of history, what player really delivered about every single game they played and took it two times to the national title game. And today, South Carolina is awesome. Credit Don Staley. Lisa Boyer's a friend. She was in the Valley. When we were in the Valley, she was at Bradley. We were at Drake. Uh, happy for them. Um, and they're great. Jolette Law. So uh, they're, that team is awesome. It's like a pro team. Pretty sure you could put them in the WNBA. They do all right. Uh, we had them. We cut it to five. Uh, unfortunately, we got stripped when they're, with a wolf action. Um, but Caitlin is really, really tremendous. And the good thing is, you know, when everybody's, you know, attacking her at different times. And, you know, that's part of the good of, of sport. And not the good, but part of when you're really great. So... I just think um, some of it is just unfortunate because I think she is uh, one of the greatest of all time. Also the last game for Gabby, for Kate, for Molly, mm -hmm. what are you kind of going to take away from them or remember them? You know, I mean, like, we're not here without Gabby Marshall coming back, right? That's at least it was really cool and she thanked her. I mean, Gabby is just given and given, and I think Gabby's defense tonight was pretty doggone good. I don't know what the number was, but I mean, again, she earned everything. It was just really the tail of the box outs. And Cordosa's going to get hers, but it was just hard to keep the other fours off the off of it, um, you know, off the ball. But I think Gabby's defense and just her sense of calm, um, they're just, I mean, we need to celebrate a lot. I mean, getting to be national runners up back to back, that uh, stings. We all want to be great. We all want to be the champs. But I, I feel like we've won, golly, with this team, the relationships you build. And this team was so incredibly special in what they accomplished. So it stings, but I think we'll, we'll celebrate a lot more than we'll uh, be down and negative. Because that was, uh, South Carolina is great. And uh, it would have had to take a kind of Herculean performance by us on the boards. And they would have had to be off a little, and they weren't. I think everybody cooled off, you know, the second half. But... Um, Gabby, Kate Martin, golly, that was a tough one being my you know, my niece. Uh, but those guys, they willed it here. I mean, Caitlin got them to believe those guys led and they did their roles beautifully. And what an example they set for these guys. I mean, that's the gift for a coach, you know, was the example of that hard work and belief and the magic. So we have, um, we've been really blessed. God's blessed us with a heck of a couple of years. And uh, this year has been just so fun because most of it has surprised everybody. But, but us, um, I think that the hard part is I think we're the only ones that thought we really could win. But we knew the, it was like last year when we beat South Carolina. We had to have something like that happen again. When you look Can back you at your game plan for this game, did you feel like there's anything that you didn't execute well, or was it more that just No, I mean, we, we knew we had a box. Uh, there were a few times where what happened is Cordosa tips it, and so she just tips it because she couldn't quite get it, but then we weren't really continuing the box outs. And so then, like, a off guard, small forward would get it, and they'd kick it out because it would be kind of a scramble. But, I mean, that's just... Um, overall, though, I, I just, they were, they're really, they have so many different ways to hurt you. Um, so we knew we weren't going to win the inside battle. 
uh, we needed to not let them shoot as well as they did from the three early on. I think then they shoot about 60% in the first half. I think it equaled out a little. So they were, a couple of our hands weren't up, but they're just quick ball rotation. Um, you know, I'd kind of have to look at the film, but I, I think it was just the boards. I feel like a, we just needed a hit. Uh, and that's what we said, we've got to be really great at hitting our outside shots today uh, to minimize, I knew that disadvantage on the boards. But, um, you know, I just think we need to be, you know, maybe get a few more stops here or there, a little more hard nose, but they're, they're really good. I mean, they're, they're really good. They would have had to kind of shoot themselves in the foot a little bit. But, I mean, we on, honestly, when it got to five, one, and that's what we said in the huddles. I said, hey, if you put some pressure on them, they're going to get tight. And uh, I would have liked to have seen, you know, Sid got, got stripped. But had she not gotten stripped, we hit a two or three, and it gets to be a three-point game or a two-point game. Um, you know, I just feel like that's – you just – those things, when you win, that's how it lines up. When you lose, it's oh so close, right?